2022 and we're back in business with the TFWA World Exhibition really back to form I think after the horrors of the last couple of years and I'm with Severino Pucic from the founder and creator of the SIVA group. Severino you had a good week? We had an excellent week Matt and it's amazing to see energy again back in Cannes TFWA and when you walk around it's just it's just lovely. It's just lovely. The energy is unbelievable and we are very happy to be back. Yeah, well, we're sitting in this great stand. Some of your own product and, of course, some of the brands you represent from around the world. And that's a, it's a kind of who's who of, of the brand world. Have you, have you had a good week and lots of visitors in, in what, a new location, I think, for you, Severino? It is. It is. This is the new location and uh, we are very, very happy and uh, thankful to TFWA to give us this location on a beach with a terrace, obviously with also uh, entering the, the, the cigar and potentially cigarette business in the future, we could use a terrace, uh, absolutely. Absolutely, and, and, and you're right, of course, you've made your name uh, principally uh, in the travel retail world through Wine and Spirits distribution, but you've got an interesting line here, Gurkha cigars, I've tried one, I've smoked one, I've got to say it was rather good and very good with a glass of rum or bourbon. Um, tell us about that. How did that happen? Well, uh, actually, uh, through Roger. That's Roger uh, Jackson. Uh, Roger Jackson, uh, our MD at Organico, based in Dubai, Middle East and Africa. Uh, and he came actually with Gurkha and a proposal to start uh, looking into it and doing it. And um, uh, after tasting it and uh, getting more information about the product, uh, it's, it's just absolutely amazing, and especially with a little bit craziness in the market, what's happening now, uh, we see great opportunity for this item globally, absolutely. Yeah. You've come a long way, Severino, since you founded the company. When was that, just remind our viewers, in terms of the founding of the Siva Group? 1997. In, uh, yes. So by my arithmetic, your 25th anniversary, that's pretty special. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. and. Um, as you know, I, 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 I always find it difficult to talk about myself, but you always succeed to, 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 to do that with me. So, yes, 1997, uh, Mostar, Bosnia and uh, former Yugoslavia, uh, started with the, the local markets and uh, get to the real estate project developments and dig into the travel retail and uh, absolutely uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, you're pretty much a global player now in terms of distribution and, and travel retail. Plus, you have some retail, some pure retail. True. And if I'm remembering it right, uh, 2018, you were there with us as well. That was our first retail store, border store between Croatia and, uh, and Bosnia Herzegovina and Metković. Not so far from our bonded warehouse in, uh, in Croatia. How's that doing, by the way? Very good. Is it? Yes, yeah. it is. And you had plans, and I think you still have plans, to, to expand. As, as a pure retail, where are you at in, in, on that journey? Well, we definitely are looking around for some, some airports as well. Uh, we are planning to keep delivering the concept that we already have for the border stores. So that's the main focus for the next years. Yeah. And just behind us, Severino, we've got some really beautifully labeled wine. I happen to know it's actually beautiful tasting wine as well. Just tell us about that. This is unusual. Um, here is this travel retailer, travel retail distributor as well, but you are a, you're a winemaker, wine owner. We are, we are, and this is coming from, from, from passion, from hobby, from love. Um, and we started with it eight years ago. Uh, a very close friend of mine from the childhood, from the family Mandarich and, uh, and my dear friend uh, Goran, we just had that dream. To have our own winery so I actually done this with my close two friends from the childhood uh, starting very slowly with uh, about 17,000 uh, liters uh, in a village nearby Mostar which you visit yourself as well uh, mm. with the uncle of uh, Oliver uh, unfortunately the lovely man passed away a year later and I make a promise that we will build something extraordinary in the region and I dare to say now that we already did, although it's just eight years and people that are involved in winemaking, they all know that that's quite unique. Yep. Uh, 
but it makes it much easily because, you know, if you don't have the right people in the right place, it just ain't gonna happen. And Oliver is an amazingly dynamic guy, wine lover, old tradition, and what we have done actually implement the new techniques, succeed to get all vineyards in our own property so that we don't depend on anyone else from the grapes. And that helps greatly to stabilize uh, the quality. Wrap up for me, if you will, or sum up the values that you bring to a business, a family business. What matters to you most? I know you're a man of great principle. Values matter. Just talk us through that a little bit. But in general, in life, isn't it like that? That if there is no trust, there is no base for anything else. If we do not respect each other, there is nothing to do with each other. So those are the most, most, most important values, if you ask me, for me. And we can go and, and talk about uh, all kinds of packages of values. But this is, for me, if you ask me, the basic in human being. And this comes from private life and obviously just roll it out for the business life. You're a strong family, man. You've got your daughter here this week. That must yes. be nice. Well, you're proud. Absolutely. You're amazingly proud. She was with us in uh, last year as well. Uh, even uh, uh, my youngest son was last year here. Uh, my oldest daughter, so I have three kids, uh, unfortunately couldn't be this year here like my son because of the schools. But the middle one is here with us, yes. Must be a nice feeling, huh? Absolutely. Excellent. What else do we want in life? So, Our kids to go there. That's right. Now, Severino, you're right. I did do the first interview with you. You, you were my perhaps most reluctant interviewee ever, but we, we got you over the line. And I remember you telling me about the, the journey you were on, the passion you had for it, and actually pretty heady ambitions. Where do you see the SIVA group heading now in the future? Well, it's, it's important to mention that I uh, make an important decision in uh, 2019 to step back from the daily business. So the board of directors have took the charge and lead and responsibility of the daily business uh, from me. Uh, the only moment that I came back shortly was obviously uh, during the COVID, especially in the beginning, to make a few decisions, which I did. And uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not really any more up to me how far we will go. Uh, my vision is clear, uh, and, and we all share that vision. Uh, but dynamic of growing the business is not in my hands anymore. Obviously, I will facilitate whatever it needed. But uh, when we talk about GTR, Roger Jackson, Laura Klingemann, Natalie Jackson, those are the key people within the group to make those decisions. Yeah, you've got great people. That's been one of the hallmarks of, of your journey and your success, Absolute. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, given that we've been chatting away for 10 minutes, Severino, with a very nice looking glass of white wine in front of us, you better tell our viewers what we're drinking, and then I think we should have a little sip to conclude. It's authentic Count Zilavka, growing only in Herzegovinian part. Uh, we make a lovely uh, selection, 30% uh, barrel, uh, and I think the taste will tell you everything else. Shall we? Cheers. Zhigil. Severino, go well. It's been a pleasure to chat again today. Second interview, and it won't be the last. <laughs> I hope so. Always happy to see you, Mark. Thank you, Severino. Thank you.